Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of our Create Mod series. I am really excited uh, for today. I've been standing here just uh, looking at things in the uh, REI uh, interface and I'm like, oh man, that's so cool. <laughs> so um, today I think we will have a look at making a little automated farm area because we really need food. I got like none at the moment. And then we'll have a look at the crusher, I think. Trying to get one. But I don't know about that part. I don't know what else. There's a lot of things that I want to do. We'll see how much we get done in one episode. Um, first off, I have um, organized things a little bit. Look at that. Being organized. Uh, we have, like... Oh, yeah. I've also gone caving. We got like, our minerals and stuff over here. And then, like, plant stuff over there. And then just uh, overall uh, junk. Our cobblestone generator has over a chest of cobblestone in here, over a chest of cobblestone on there, so we are, um, we have more than a double chest of cobblestone right now, which is pretty good, I think, I hope, um, but yeah, let's talk about today's plan, so, if we go into here, uh, there is a thing called a mechanical harvester in the crate mod, and I've learned that if you, um, hold, hover over this thing and hold W to ponder, it shows you what it does, Look at the animation. It's so cool. You put them into a contraption and then they, they, they like harvest and replant. How cool is that? And you can put a chest onto it. Bloop. There's the chest. And it will put the items automatically in the chest. How cool. So, um, we will probably build something that looks fairly close to this thing. Because I don't really know how to do things yet. Um... Probably something that just rotates uh, in a thing. So what we can do is to identify and have a look at this thing, for example. Mechanical bearing. And we ponder. And it's like, oh yeah, no, uh, you attach it to a thing. And it tells you just all about how it works. And it's it's really cool. I really like this mod. It's awesome. Um, so I think we should uh, start by trying to figure out how to make that. That is a lot of andesite al alloy. Um, <laughs> okay. I know we have some more zinc. There is some of that. Um, we have some zinc ingots. It should be enough. We have some andesite alloy already. And put that in here. We'll just make as much as we can. Andesite alloy. That's good. Um, all right. We needed a chassis. Uh, are they called chassis? I forgot. I like like four of them. Uh, do that. And boop, 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 boop. Oh, it looks cool. I like it. I like how the textures connect. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't think we'll get to building much today uh, with our build idea for the place. But... Oh, we can build a depot now? Radial chassis? I don't know what that does. Uh, linear chassis. I think we want that. That's more andesite alloy. Mm, nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll get to building today. I'm thinking about adding the chisel mod or something like that. Just so we get some more block varieties. I really like the connected textures from that, um, so we might get that. Maybe if there's uh, another mod that does the same thing or something like that, um, let, me, let me know if there's an alternative because I'd like to check those mods out as well. I've used the chisel a bunch um, before and it always seems a little... Oh, we need iron sheets. Um, it always seems a little overpowered, so there's that. Oh, we need a new machine. We need... A mechanical press. Okay. Um, so let's have a look. Um, press. There it is. Uh, that is a block of iron, a shaft, and and a side casing. We should have that. Okay. I clicked the wrong thing. I clicked the wrong thing again. Um, that, that, right. Shaft. Uh, in here. One left over. So we make the mechanical press. We have that. And then we gotta press iron. What does the mechanical press need below it? I don't know. Um, let's play around with it. Let's get some cobblestone from in here. We'll just move away from that noisy machine for a second. Okay, let's say we have... I probably gotta go up one more, right? We'll put the press... Up over here. Okay. And can we put iron below it? Like, bleh. <laughs> eh. Okay. 
and then probably the hand crank. Oh yeah, while farming, by the way, um, I sometimes get rotten tomatoes. I can turn these into um, tomato seeds, but I can also throw them. <laughs> Which I think is really fun. Um, I'm wondering if that does any damage at all. Um, I'd like to see how much how much damage I can do with that. Uh-huh. Bonk. Did, did, it, did that work? Oh! It did. Okay, cool. Um, it's, I think we need two. Now, obviously, we can automate that by putting that, attaching that to our machine over there. But we don't really have any, um, stress left over that that thing can deal with. Let's just get all that. We might need some more, um, sheets, but you know how that works now. Figure that out. Uh, mechanical harvester, there it is. Cool. I got one now. Um... What else? I think we want some of these to attach stuff. I think. So I don't know if we need super glue now or if uh, this will do all the things we want. Um, what else? There was this turning thing. This. Mechanical bearing. Okay, so we want one of those now. Um, bearing. Let's see. Mechanical bearing. Oh, windmill bearing. Mechanical bearing. Clockwork bearing. Uh, we want that one, I think. It's a shaft, a chassis, a uh, casing even, and a wood slab. That's not the one. A mechanical bearing, yes, there we are. All right. Let's put that stuff somewhere. It's a bit more quiet. So we put that thing um, this way. Okay. And then we put the chassis on here. Like that, I think. And the chassis will attach to more of the same chassis that is facing the same direction, I think is how that works. And then we can attach this thing to it. Can I turn it? I don't know. Oh, I can probably... Wait, can I attach it to here? Does that work? Will it go in a circle now? <laughs> it's really small. Uh, I don't know. Let's... um. Let's dig down and use the hand crank and see what happens. Obviously, we'll auto automate this. Um, let's just... <gasps> it works! I did a thing! Oh, how cool! How cool! Okay. Uh, more of these, more of that, and then plants. And we need to power it somehow. Ooh, can we just put a windmill on top? Do we need the windmill bearing for that? Uh -huh, look at that. If we use a windmill bearing instead of the one that we got, we can put uh, like wool blocks over here, which would count as um, like windmill sail blocks. And um, if it's more than eight and it counts as a windmill and we can just attach our a mechanical harvester to that, but in order to make the windmill, we need super glue, and for super glue, we need slime, and I don't think we have any, so I don't think we'll go windmill just yet. We'll probably set up another water wheel over there, and then use belts or something uh, to set the thing up, which I'm not. I'm not really sad about. Uh, it'll still look kind of cool. Um, let's set things up. How about we have water in the middle, right over here, and then above this we'll have our linear chassis. We'll go out like four blocks, that should be enough. We put our mechanical bearing on top facing down, I think. Should work for us, which we cannot place like that. Um, I, I know how these things work. <laughs> Not new to Minecraft. Just new to create. So we do that. Wrong way. Wrong way. Can I not place the upside down? I think there's a way to turn these with a wrench, right? This thing. For which we need gold sheets, a cogwheel, and a stick. Ooh, we have a little bit of gold. Should we splurge on this? A uh, useful tool for working on kinetic contraptions. Can be used to rotate, dismantle, and configure components. I think we need that. Uh, yeah, let's build one of these. 
probably need it. So we throw our goal on the floor, mechanical press right over there, hand crank right over here. And we do this, three of those, bam, wrench. All right, uh, we can do things now with that. Let's rotate this. Nope. Aha! There it is. Uh, movement mode. Yeah, always place one stopped. I think that's what we want. That's really cool. Um, here we can block this thing off again. I wanted to add a chest or two. Uh, actually, a double chest. There we are. We take... Does that attach? I don't know if that attaches. I think that does. We'll see. We take our uh, harvesters. We put those over there. And now we got to power this thing somehow. I think what we'll need is a gear box. So the gear box will allow us to take our rotational force and turn it into another direction, which will plop up over this. And we gotta turn it like that. Aha, there we are. Um, we attach a shaft to over that, and I have prepared a water wheel over there. Um, now we know that the water wheels are really bad. Can we attach that? <gasps> Long build. Um, yeah, we know that the water wheels are really bad, but for now, I think this uh, might what's go in the right direction. Even. Look at that. The chests are not attached somehow. Okay. Uh, so we gotta stop it, which... <laughs> I don't know how we do that. Uh, can I click that? No? Uh... Stop. <laughs> um... Did I just break something? Um... Uh, uh water. There. Aha. <laughs> that worked. Um... Yeah, why aren't these not... Following, I have to place them over here, maybe? Let's try that. Uh, by the way, we are currently in the proof of concept phase. That doesn't work. Yeah, we are currently in the proof of concept phase. Um, this is not how these things will stay. Do I put that over there, maybe? Did you see that? I just saw they actually glued it to the thing. Ah, oh, that's sneaky. We, we do need the super glue now, I think. It just seems to be the case. Iron sheet, iron slime ball. We need two of them even. Okay, so there's a way of getting these though, right? Dough and lime dye. Oh, wait, that's not that bad. For dough, we need wheat flour and water and we, put, we don't have a milling thing. <sighs> Guys. <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, wheat flour. It's the only way to get this stuff, huh? Throw wheat into a crusher or a mill. I think we'll check out the mill first before we have a look at the crushing wheel. Uh, it just seems more achievable. Um, but yeah, that this seems to be a thing that we need. So down the rabbit hole we go. We need stone. Um, any stone will work, I think. Maybe we need, like, uh, smooth stone or, like... Uh, polished stuff. And then a set casing and a cogwheel. We can do that. Millstone. There it is. Okay. Um, we'll place the mill over here. Uh, it's not the mill. Uh, that is the mill. And then again, we can we do that? Um, we need a hand. Wait, no. That's where the hand crank goes, right? That is where the hand crank goes. Okay. And now we gotta. <laughs> oh, this is so janky. Um, throw some wheat into this, which we should have. Six of them. Okay. Goes in. And eventually... Should be done. Oh, embrace the grind. All, the, all these things are really cool. Again, this is just a proof concept thing. Uh, how do I... Oh, there we are. Yeah, we're, we're just in the proof of concept phase. We'll actually start building cool things on the next episode, I think. Uh, I might actually build something around our farming thing, so it looks a little better. Um, and the next episode, we'll really get, get to building when I've decided on a cool building um, mod. Now we need green dye, though. Uh, we got the green wood, but I don't think that'll work. 
Um, green dye. Do we need cactus for this or... Green tulips will help us with the lime green dye. Uh, which is nice. Or we need... <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Right, we picked these up because I kept running into them. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Things are working out. I'm not used to that. Okay, we do that. We do that. We do... All that. Very nice. We craft our dough. One. Good enough. No, wait, we need... We needed two, right? Boop. Okay. Give me dough. I already assessed slime block. There we go, we got two of them now. But we needed two to make the thing over here. We need an iron sheet and an iron nugget. This tree is really helpful. There we go. Iron sheet. Iron nuggets. Okay, um, that goes there, that goes there. Boop, boop. Super glue. Aha, uh -huh. so we do. Bleh. Bleh. Oh, this is not. Oh, I thought this stuff would run out. It's like one time use, I thought. It's not. It didn't. <gasps> okay, that's much better than I expected. Okay, so. I thought it's getting nighttime, but I think it's just raining. Um, now we get water again. Boop. I'm gonna put that thing here. Ah, chest is moving. Alright, so, now, for my next trick, um, let's figure out if the harvesters work with these cro- Oh, that was not mature. But yeah, with the sweet potatoes, because I think I want to have a good diet of sweet potatoes. Uh, no, not, not, not those. Um, yep. Yeah. Alright, so we'll plant these. Just like that. Just want to see if this works. Have you ever lived on a diet of sweet potatoes in Minecraft? Oh, it works. Can we access the chest while it's a contraption? We cannot. Okay, so we have to stop the thing. Like that. We can... Oh, there are the sweet potatoes. Okay. Cool. Um, I know that there's a thing um, that we can attach to this to empty out uh, all, all, all the inventories into like a local chest and a, to a stationary chest so we can actually use it uh, and access it. So here's what we'll do. We'll put that over there. Uh, chest goes over. We do that. Ah, see, that's what we want. We put these things on here. And then whenever it moves around, can we... So it moves around, right, and then they connect and transfer the items over. And we can either put items in or uh, have items fly out. I don't know what this thing is yet. Um, I'm guessing maybe a hopper below it will just work. I don't know if a hopper below it will just work. So first off, we need this thing, a chute to um, craft the thing. Um, we need two more iron plates or sheets even. Well, it goes like that, and then we need uh, just an andesite casing for these, and I think we still have a few. Very nice, that goes there, two of those, two of those, okay, they do stack. Nice, now all we need to do is sleep first. Now uh, we put one on to here, I don't know if that is part of the uh, thing yet, or if I have to super glue it, I don't know if I did. I think I forgot. Um, this should be on this block now. So we put the shoot, uh, the thing uh, here. Wrong way. All right. We have a wrench. We can do that. Very nice. So turns around, connects to that. Items go there. Let's see if that works. Let's see if it works. Aha. We didn't super glue it. Okay, so we have to do that. Let's get rid of that. And we'll go bleh. That's connected now. And then we do this. Okay, okay. Look at it. Look at it. And flung. <gasps> we did it. We did it. Awesome. All right. Now we got to figure out which blocks we're actually harvesting things from. Oh, connect it again. Is there more in it? That was not... I guess we'll just always do that and check. Thunk. And place some more of these. And we'll be living on a healthy diet of pure.
pure sweet potatoes. That's so weird. That's so janky. Oh man, I love it. I love it. I think those are all the blocks we're currently harvesting. Maybe these inside blocks are too. I'm not sure though. Plant all the ones we have and then we'll use some bone meal. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, I want to see if these work. So we'll wait for some bone... Uh, for some sweet potatoes to arrive. Plant them over there. Fully grow them. Did that one just turn? Oh, this that still from us. Alright, so we do not harvest these automatically. I don't want this here. And I um, was wondering if we are harvesting these. I don't think we're touching them at all. It's kind of hard to tell, though. So let's see. It comes by again. Or not. Okay. Here. Here. Sweet. Alright. Wasted all my bone meal. Harvest the whole thing. So cool. Man. It's so simple. It's so nice. Give me all of those. 13 more. Will be enough to fully plant the field. And now we'll just leave it alone and it will just give us sweet potatoes here. Let's cook these and have our first bite of freshly cooked sweet potatoes. Fresh from our own fields. I can stop eating just carrots. <laughs> Raw carrots. And instead, baked sweet potatoes. Mmm, I wish I was hungry right now. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, first sweet potato eaten. First cooked sweet potato eaten. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm happy about this. Alright, it, it will take a while until we actually start getting crops. Everything has to grow right now, but eventually we should have a steady steam. Steady stream, even of sweet potatoes. I think we will build like a little shell for this right now and I think I have an idea what we should do next time. So I've, I've been using the um, hand crank a lot with the press now and the mill and there will be more stuff like that. I think I want to set up like a small workshop that has just one power source, something simple, and then a bunch of uh, gear boxes and we can engage like the one tool that we're using at the moment manually and I think it will look cool. I think it will be a cool starter build. But for now, I think we've done a lot with this mod for today. So let's talk about building something around this thing. Now, I don't want to build too much. Just something that makes it look less floaty and up in the air. Um, for that, I think I want to see if we can use the baobab wood. Now that tree up over there. Um, I like having a big tree over there uh, up on the mountain. But... The way it generated, mm, not that good. So we'll cut this one down and we'll see if we can replant these. I really hope we can. Now, other than the baobab uh, that I want to try, um, I'd like to uh, have a look at some other blocks as well. I had a look at a zinc block and I kind of like the zinc block, but it has like a really strong outline. And unless it's a connected texture, it would look kind of weird if we have several of them. But I think I have decided on a building block mod that I want to have, that I want to add. It's called Chipped, and I've added it. <laughs> Gives us all the different smooth andesite, ringed andesite, vertical cut andesite, bunch of the options. Basically what I think we would have with um, Chiseled anyway. I think even more than that. And the way this mod seems to work is we need these kind of tables first kind of stations which are fairly cheap um and then we can craft these blocks over there so unlike the chisel mod where we just walk up to a wall and click it and it changes um but we'll get into that mod um in the next episode here i think what we gotta do is cut through this let's go through the thing i don't know um the street is too big and cannot be broken in one hit oh okay well then we'll Keep cutting it down, and eventually we are below 100 blocks, right? And I had to cut down the whole tree by myself, which was more than an iron axe worth. So there's that. We did get a bunch of saplings, so... Uh, I hope we can actually replant these. I'm, I'm pretty sure we can, though, if we get so many. So let's have a look at this. The logs just by themselves look kind of cool. I like it. It's a nice stripy pattern, right? What if we do this? 
What? That, that's interesting. I like it though. I think we can use that. Yeah, cool. All right, let's check out the planks. Yep, yeah, do that. A little noisy, uh, I feel like. The contrast is a little high on him. But not bad. Not bad. If we, um... Uh, we'll probably use these, the stripped logs, together with something that's a bit more smooth. For example, we could take some of our cobblestone, look at that. We are up to, um, two normal chests again in here, and look at that one. It's full. That is two double chests worth of cobblestone in here. So we currently have more than three double chests worth of cobble. And I think we can take, like, a stack from each, uh, chest, plop those into here. And I didn't want to use the coal, because I'm kind of short on that. And instead, we'll use some lava buckets. And do that. I wonder if there's like a good way of smelting things fast with the create mod. I guess the, um, the fan, right? I think the fan and some fire will do that for us. Now I do want to um, increase our radius of this thing. Uh, once more, uh, we want to turn that. Are we... I was overstressed now. I think we are. I doesn't want to turn on. All right. Well, we know the solution to that. Actually, what if instead of just um, building another one of these, we instead just make it turn slower? I think it's okay if it turns slower. It doesn't have to go very fast. The plants don't grow that much. We don't lose anything really if it just turns slower. So let's build a thing in the middle over here. And for now, we will use some very fancy, uh, stone bricks, everybody. Stone bricks. So, um, we want to go from a small wheel to a big wheel. That will uh, make the turn slower, and that should, um, decrease the stress. Now, we do have to drop this down one, I think, so we can have our wheel over here. Add a few of these here and there, and then we take our trusty old belts. Do that, and do that. Does it turn the wrong way around now? I'm not quite sure. It did not turn on. Oh, it, it doesn't want to move. Oh! Does it think the belt is part of the contraption now? I think that's the issue. Oh, that's interesting. How do I not make it part of the contraption? Same direction. Put that thing here. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so that was the issue. It thought the chest and the belt are connected to one another. All right, well, this thing spins the other direction now. I don't like how the uh, chest goes backwards. Turn these around. Turn it back on. And there it goes. Awesome. Which just means the farm is now significantly better. Um, I do like our uh, cogwheels over here. That's why I put them in the middle so we can see them. Um, I, I like what that looks like. But I don't like that we have this stone. Which I want as support for the cogwheels in front of it. Like on this side. Um, how do we do this? Lots of learning still going on. Um, so I've just learned that if you have your cogwheels over here, right? For example, like the small one over here. And the big one over there. This thing uh, goes turned in. We can use the andesite casing and just do this. And now the cogwheel is just spinning in the casing. And it's not just like literally floating. Aha! Uh -huh. Look at that. We can have something like this could also just uh, complete this thing. We have to connect the textures, which looks very cool. And then from the front, we see this. Uh-huh. Uh, I have to replan the whole bunch of stuff now. <laughs> because I keep messing with it. We can also now actually start building a casing around this thing to make it look a little nicer. I think I want to give this part a bit... I want to give this thing a roof, right? I think having some supports over here makes sense. Fill the back with some fences. There's something to look at, and it looks like you're not supposed to stick your fingers in there. 
So we'll have some more of these logs over here. We do strip them. Mm -hmm. And then for our big farm, I think we should just have the pillars over in the corner. So that would be over here and over here. Now, once we figure out our actual build style and our actual build palette, um, we will rework this. But I just want to make sure that this is a little bit more pleasing to look at in the meanwhile. I think we'll just give this thing a, a granite flat roof. Probably for the first one, for the actual farm itself, we'll just go ahead and build like a granite ring around it. Because everybody loves granite. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> uh, it used to be a controversial block choice. Is it still? I'm not quite sure. Um, we'll build a ring around it with some slabs. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Bam! We got a little build. Nothing too fancy. Nothing that will be all too permanent. But for now, that's good enough. We got our little spinning sweet potato farm over there. We got our um, gear ratio thing right over there. And the water wheel spinning all the way in the back, powering the whole contraption. We can see everything that's moving. Uh, we can see the gears and the belt and all the stuff. I really like this. This is so cool. Um, in the next episode, we'll finally get to actually building, I think, like a workshop. We'll actually start working out... Um, the actual build style that I have. I'm actually really excited for it. Um, this is not the build style that we'll go for. Uh, though this is kind of cool too. Kind of like it, but no, that's not what we'll go for. Something a bit more sophisticated, if you will. And we'll also start looking into processing some of the cobblestone that... Uh-oh, we're full. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll add some more chests. Um, yeah, we'll also look into uh, starting to process our cobblestone, probably in our little workshop that we're setting up uh, just for now and trying to get through the different steps before we build um, separate actual contraptions to deal with the whole thing. So before we forget it, I did want to see if we can replant this thing. Um, if we hold shift on these, it shows us a sapling pattern and I think that just means we gotta put it in a 3x3 three three and plant them. Um, the normal saplings don't do that. I think this one Shows a sapling pattern like that, and I guess that means there's just one sapling. So we climb up here once again. I did bring my bones. I only have two left. Let's plant it right over here. I don't know how much room they need. Three by three. Take this thing. And we'll see what happens. Oh. And there we go. It was easy. Right on the edge. Cool. Ah, oh, yeah, that looks good, man. I really like these trees. These trees, these trees are good trees. But for now, I think it is time for us to end the episode. I keep wearing that leather tunic like it will do anything, but then when I look at myself, I think I look stupid with it on, so... <laughs> keep t taking it off on camera. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I had a blast building this, although there was a lot of confusion involved, but I'm kind of used to being confused, so it's not that bad. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you check back with me next time, next episode video stream, whatever that will be, and until then, see ya.